Previously on North Shore. No, you're doing a drug deal. And I figured you, of all people, would understand why I gotta do what I have to to get the hotel back. I'm opening my own shop, so I quit. What are you doing? You need a job till you get the store open. So is servicing your boss part of your job description now? I don't know what got into her. Broken up or not, she didn't like seeing her man with another woman. And forgive me for saying, but you do need a woman. I thought if you knew how much I really cared about you, I'd scare you off. I don't want you to be with anybody else, Frankie. I'm in love with you. Jason, wait. Look, there's nothing going on between us, if that's what you think. We're broken up. You don't owe me any explanations. Shark was eyeballing me, man. Like, what the hell are you doing down here? He's probably just curious. Curious about what? How I taste? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little headache. I'm seasick, I think. My arm hurts, though. Oh, your arm hurts? Yeah. I don't feel so good. How fast did you come up? I don't know, man. Fast. It was a shark. Oh. Hey. He's got the bands. He needs a decompression chamber right now. Let's go, everybody out! Get out of here. Jeff, do a head count. We gotta go. Good morning. Hi. What's this? This? Uh, egg white lobster omelet with caviar. Croissants out of the oven six minutes ago. Mango jam, banana butter. Thanks, guys. Wow. Hey. Nice of your sister to let you crash here. Half sister. And I'm only staying here until I find a place to live. What? I just woke up. Hmm, I know. And you look amazing. <laughs> Are you thinking you can just present candlelight dinners under gazebos and then deliver gourmet breakfast to my door and I'm just gonna lay down for you? You know, they say, a way into a woman's. It's through her. No. Why not? Because we've worked together. We work together. Everyone who works in this damn hotel is sleeping with each other. Exactly, okay? It gets messy. Just look at me and Jason. I'm not Jason. There's not gonna be any fallout. Mm. Because you want it to be a one-night stand? Is that what you think it would be? I'm just going by what I see in here. Hmm. I gotta go. Enjoy. Where are you going? For a walk. You're not gonna eat with me? I don't eat breakfast. You're mad. I'm not mad. Oh, I get it. Your menu is being reviewed in the paper this morning. You're nervous about it. Please, the only question is whether I get four and a half stars or five. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little bit mad. Not because you won't sleep with me, but that you think I would do it and move on. You're not giving me much credit. Or yourself.
Gabriel, don't eat too much. Mom's making a really, really pig. The pig on the spit, with its head on. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? I'm already nervous about meeting your family. Now I'm gonna take one look at a broiled pig's face and hurl. <laughs> First of all, my family's gonna love you. And second, it's a family reunion. It's a totally fun party. Mm -hmm. They play volleyball, relay races, uh, fishing derby. And this year, a surf contest with Hawaii's hot new ripper, Gabriel McKay. The Groms are stoked. Mm. I'm gonna be a little late getting there, though. I have to meet with an image consultant. Ooh, Gabe's getting a personality makeover. Not my idea. Alexander wants me to go, but I don't want to do it. The lady called me GMAC. <laughs> That's cute. Come on, GMAC. Help me with the cakes. You want to give it a little. Three hours away. So what are you wearing to this? Um, I'm not going. I have a lot of fabric samples I have to look over. If you're worried about running into Chris, he's not going to be there. I'm not worried about running into Chris. Okay? I've seen him since I self-destructed at the fashion show. I'm over it. I'm actually enjoying my new freedom. Okay, I didn't buy any of that. Well, it's true. If I were you, I'd be less worried about me and more worried about Frankie's mom. What's she like? Okay, put it this way. Everybody's afraid of Bobby Sayer. Mm -hmm. She'll probably compare me with Frankie's other girlfriends. <laughs> no, she won't. She's never liked any girl Frankie brought home. Great. Okay, that's it. You're going with me. <laughs> Okay. How you feeling? Like an idiot. What happened to that guy? Speak by a shark. Surf was too fast. He'll be okay. I'm looking for my husband, Gary Lasser. Uh, we had to come in early, so everyone went to the coffee shop. That's Gary's hat. Oh! Typical. Leaves without his hat and his wallet. <laughs> At least he's not spending much money, right? Yeah, right. Hey. These are Gary's clothes. What? <laughs> Did he leave with his wetsuit on? No. I think he's still out there. Designed by celebrity chef Tommy Rivetto. Mm -hmm. Celebrity chef. The asparagus ravioli with the white truffle butter looked delicious, except the flavor of the truffles seemed to be MIA and overpriced at $28. I was never a fan of the truffles. I can, I can do better. By the way, Tommy, do tourists really want to come to Hawaii to eat venison with a citrus chile glaze? Well, I guess they do. We ran out. How many stars? And a half. Huh. What? Critic, Boris Kleinfelder. He's had it in for me ever since I was at Cafe Days Artistes. Oh. 
So it's just a weekend cook with a grudge and a laptop. Yeah, with a syndicated column and 200 papers. You know, if I ever serve that man a meal again, someone better taste his food first. OK, so I failed at the import-export business. How come I don't feel bad? I don't know. Did you dip into the inventory? No. Uh -huh. But I got up before I did something stupid, thanks to you. Well, let's celebrate. Come by the Seau family reunion today. Everybody's going to be there. Gabe, MJ, my dad. Nicole? No. No. We uh, started dividing events. She let me have this one, you know, like divorced couples. I'm sorry, kid. Thanks for that. I'd love to go, but I got a lot of loose ends to tie up around here. Come on, Vincent. You'll love this party. Mama Seau's food. I'll come by late night. When I'm done here, save me some pig. You can count on it. So, what's he want? He came by to invite me to a party. Don't worry, he doesn't suspect anything. How are we doing? Good. Truck's loaded. I want it out of here by midnight. As soon as they wire the money. Mr. Junior, Auntie Momi, Big Joe, Uncle Buff, Auntie Peachy, Auntie Tina, Uncle Kelly, Kiki, and the main event? Frankie! Mom. <laughs> Mom, this is Tessa. Hi. I've heard a lot about you. You have? No. Frankie, go help your little brother set up the volleyball net. You me okay? Sure. I'll help your mom with the food. It all looks delicious. Good. I hope you're hungry. Oh, yeah. Frankie wouldn't let me eat breakfast this morning. I see. How often do you and Frankie have breakfast? Hardly ever. Once a week? Hmm. Help me baste the pig. Sure. I'd love to. Tommy's not worried about it. Is that right? Well, guess what? I am. It's a critic with an axe to grind. And a column in 200 papers. Tommy's one of the best chefs in the world. He's review proof. And he's also going to change three items on the menu. The ravioli, the coconut souffle, and that dead reindeer thing. <laughs> he won't do it. Make him. Me? I'm sorry. Is there something else going on here? A conflict of interest, perhaps? Hardly. I just don't think that a chef of his stature should have to change his menu to please one person. Two persons. The other one is me. But maybe I should find somebody with some backbone to do it. Like Tessa, maybe. I'll tell him. Excuse me. It's Chris Remsen. He says it's an emergency. Oh. Hello? Listen, no offense, I'm sure as an image consultant, you're the best there is, but um, I don't do drugs, never been arrested. Image is not a problem for me. Actually, that's not true. What? The big sponsors want more than a surfer. They want an icon. An icon? I gotta go to a party. Why don't we work on making me an icon next week? Okay, bye-bye. Gabriel. I've arranged for a reporter from Groundswell Magazine to come here and interview you today. Today? Yeah. They heard about GMAC, this wild kid lighting it up on Oahu. I can't do it today. I gotta go. He's only on this island for one day. This was hard to set up. Blow him off, and he won't come back. But maybe you should let a professional decide what you gotta do. Ow, easy, baby. Okay, okay. I think he separated his shoulder. No, you separated my shoulder rescuing me. Honey, did you bring my sweatshirt? It's in the car. I'll get it. I thought I was going to die. So damn cold. You have hypothermia. Thanks, Doc. Mr. Lasser, I'm so glad that you're safe. Look, the rest of your stay at the Grand Waimea's Conte. We're upgrading you to a bungalow. Your meals and drinks are free. The rest of my stay is going to be in a hospital. Okay, you just left the guy out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? Look, Alex, this other guy's film and got the bends. We had to rush back to shore, but... Okay, so this is the second guest that almost died on you today. Hey, 
It wasn't my idea to do dive tours. I got enough on my plate. Well, maybe it's time I find somebody who can handle the bigger workload and do it with the minimal amount of guests dying. Tessa, why don't you meet my cousin, my cousin Marvin? Wow, another cousin. Well, my Calabash cousin. Starts out as your friend and then drives you crazy like your family. Have we met? You, uh, you look familiar. I don't think so. You are so beautiful. You must have been in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going? I have to check and see how your mom's doing. Okay. Problem. What are you talking about? You're a hit. Frankie's cousin Marvin, he doesn't remember. But we've met before. He was wasted. Before I met you guys. Marvin? I didn't think we were gonna hook up. And we went back to his room and he passed out. I, I stole his wallet. <laughs> Did he say anything? He says I look familiar, but. If he figures it out, it's... Oh, he's gonna go off on you. I can handle that. It's... Losing Frankie, that's gonna be hard. Hey! I thought Gabriel was gonna take the boy surfing. Yeah, so did I. They don't look too happy. Well, somebody better keep them out of my hair, or I'm gonna put your brother on that spit. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll take him till Gabe gets here. That's who you can't. We got winners. Who's playing next? I'll play for you guys. Can you jump? Higher than you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we know about the two Pro-Am wins, but the fans want to know more about your lifestyle. So then tell me how the G-Max starts his day. Uh, I don't know. Get up in the morning, eat some cereal, and then... surf. Could you excuse us a second, Sean? Thanks. What are you doing? What? You're a glass of warm milk. I told Sean he was going to be meeting G-Mac. Be exciting. Well, G-Mac should be at a party on the other side of the island. Do you want to be a pro surfer or not? Because I'm way too busy to help someone who doesn't want success. I'll tell Sean you're not feeling well. You go to your party. Amanda, wait. I want success. Yeah, I really do. I, I don't know what to say to him. And that's okay. Really wanting it is the first step. I'll help you with the rest. Come on. You wanted to see me? I got a call from Lasser's attorney. Compensatory damages include medical expenses, mental anguish, loss of wages, opening shot, $10 million. Oh, man. However, the Lassers did manage to take us up on our offer to stay at the bungalows for free, you know, help start the whole healing process. You didn't call me here to say it's coming out of my paycheck. No. Um, I called you here to apologize. Apologize? Yeah. You were trying to save another guest's life. Things happen in the middle of a crisis. Look, I'm so sorry. I wasn't mad at you. I was just venting because... Never mind. No, no, no. Go on. My father gave me a trial period of 60 days to prove to the board that I can run this hotel. So guess what happens on day 46? Well, maybe we can get him to quietly settle. I can't quietly cut a check without my dad knowing. Kids never want to disappoint their parents, but 
Most kids get a lifetime of second chances. I only get one. I don't care about losing the chance to run this hotel. I care that I disappointed my dad. You know, there is not one person here that's not going to be happy to see me go down. <laughs> uh, don't be so sure of that. Catering a wedding I didn't know about? Yeah, the guy left out in the ocean. He uh, ordered the left side of the menu. Yes, well, um, while we're on the subject, Alexander wanted me to come by and talk to you about a little change on the dinner menu. Joke? No. Based on what? The fact that I slept with the critic's ex-wife. You slept with the critic's ex? Uh-huh. Forget it. I don't care. Just change the venison. The venison was a special. That's already off the menu. And you do care that I slept with the critic's ex. I'm really fascinated by the sheer number of women that you've slept with. I mean, how do you find time to cook, or do you just microwave? Sure seem fixated on my sex life. God, if your ego was on the menu, they wouldn't list the price. Is that right? That's right. You can change chefs before you change one item on my menu. Oh, we'll consider that as an option. Fine. Fine. Then I consider myself fired. How did that just happen? the say -out. Nobody does it like the say -out. That's for sure. Because they know how important family is, how it gives perspective. Yeah. Keeps a man from doing these stupid things. All right. Yes, Nicole and I broke up, but I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm past that. No, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Vincent Cole. Vincent's doing all right. Most drug dealers do. Until they get caught. He isn't doing that anymore. Yeah, he is. He says what I hear from Dave. Dave, the cop. Uh-huh. Dave would know. They're raiding Vince's warehouse. He's got a truck coming up tonight. His, his greed's gonna finally bite him in the ass. Man. You, uh, do you want a beer? No, no thanks. Hey, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. The few times you weren't there for me, Vincent was. And if you didn't want me to help him out, you wouldn't have tipped me off. Come on, Vincent, pick up. Pick up. Those look like some nice shades. Can I see them? Sorry, my eyes are really sensitive. The prescription. Mm. Yeah, I'd buy some like those if I had a wallet. Oh, there you are. What are you talking about? I remember you. I even remember the way you smell. Look. I was broke. I'll pay you back, okay? I bet your ass you will. Now, you and I... are gonna go have a little fun.
Yeah, we win. I know you can run. You sure ran that night at the Regal Hawaiian. That was before I met Frankie. I was a different person. Really? I hope not. Come on, let's practice. I liked you then. You were fun. I was just sad we never got to finish our business. I still want to. You're drunk. Getting there. <laughs> so what do you say? I think I earned it. No way. Hmm. Well, I might be forced to tell Frankie about your past. I wouldn't want my cousin involved with any bad characters. Go ahead, sleazebag. And I'll be forced to tell my side. You sending your wife home with friends reeking of old spice then hitting on any tourists that move? I'm sure your wife wouldn't appreciate hearing that. You're right, she wouldn't. We were still married. Okay, in one hour we're gonna meet in my camp and finish up when we left off. I'm gonna tell Frankie everything. Okay, stay close. Go faster. You marked? It's it! Go! Film in the lasser parties, you know? I know that uh, Alexandra had me get the Lassers a limo tonight to take him to dinner. Did the Lassers check in the same day as Mr. Spillman? Yeah, Thursday, I think. Why? Thanks. You chickened out and didn't tell Tommy to change the mini-up. No, I, uh, I think I fired him. You think you fired him? That or made him quit, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, you wanted backbone, you got backbone. All right, I wanted a menu change, not to lose my star chef. He doesn't want to change the menu. There must be something going on between you two for this to go so bad so quick. Fix it. That's three beers, Frankie. Enough. I'm a big boy, Mom. Can I get my girlfriend out of the kitchen? No. I like it here. You okay? I've been kind of quiet. Me? I'm good. Go. Have fun. It's hard meeting such a big family. I'd be nervous, too. Yeah. Don't be, honey. Everyone really likes you. I know I do. Not any girl can step in and mix it up with this mom. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I hate making this pig. Never cooks, just stares at me all day. I thought it was your specialty. Nah, my family loves it. I'd rather make shish kebabs. Why don't you? Because sometimes you gotta do things you don't like to make the ones you love happy. Yeah. No. I shouldn't have let you meet Gabe that near the ocean. When he's that close to the surf, he has a hard time concentrating. Yeah, and staying up to 4 a.m. doesn't help. So what's the craziest thing you ever did in the water? Uh, surf triple overhead waves on a pool toy. A pool toy? Yeah. Yeah, we were out all night, went skinny dipping in the hotel pool. And the sun came up and saw Piper's firing, so uh, you were naked? How else do you ride pipe on an inflatable duck? 
Wait one second, man. I gotta get this. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, what is it? Well, you're killing. Really? The part of us surfing nude wasn't a little too. You're perfect. You're fun. You're wild. You're fearless. You're G Mac. You're sure about this? 100%? No. But seeing the three of them together, I smell a con. That's all fine, but until we know for certain that we've been set up, there's really nothing that we can do. Oh, trust me, Alex. My gut says I'm right about this. Well, you know what? I got this far by trusting no one but myself. Well, look where it's gotten you. You're alone on an island with no friends. And you're about to lose your hotel. So good. Do you know why I pulled you over? Yeah. Your tail lights out. What are you hauling? Uh, I don't know. Mind if I take a look? Uh, no. Turn around. Put your hands on the vehicle. Quick, I want to be back for dessert. Excuse me? Auntie Bobby, hi. What are you doing, Marvin? Well, I'm 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 waiting for me. You should be ashamed of yourself. I should be ashamed of myself. What about her? Did she tell you how we know each other? Yes. She made a mistake and she's sorry for it. Really? Maybe you're making a mistake trusting her. Maybe, but I don't think so. Well, Leave her alone. If you say anything to anyone, including Frankie, you'll be answering to me. And Marvin, drive this thing home. Not deserve for you tonight. Thank you. That one had it coming. But you stuck up for me. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to loan Frankie the money for his club. You knew about that? Yeah, but that's not the only reason I helped you. I wouldn't want people to judge me on what I was like when I was in my 20s. I did some bad things. In fact, they named hurricanes after me. But I grew up and learned from my mistakes. That made me believe people deserve a second chance. No wonder Frankie brags about you so much. But Tessa, if you ever hurt my son, you don't want to make me mad. Put those on Bungalow 5. It's already been taken care of. <laughs> Thank you. It's the least I can do. I just wish I could do more. Oh, you will. Believe me. You wish we left him out there? 
What did you say? Your husband. He doesn't strike me as a guy who appreciates what he has. I mean, if I were with you, I wouldn't leave you to go to the bathroom. Pretty daring talk directed at another man's wife. Well, I am in the adventure business. And you look like you could use some excitement. What are you gonna do? Drop me out of an airplane without my parachute? <laughs> I had that coming. They're funny. <sighs> and sexy. I'll put it this way, anytime, anywhere. Hey, haven't you caused enough trouble already? Hey, bro, I lost my job. You're suing my ass. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. I wouldn't be so sure about that, brah. Unless you don't value your life. Not as much as I value your wife. Hey, knock it off. Hey. You don't want to mess with me when I've been drinking. I get mean. Your wife gets better looking. Bitch. How's <laughs> your dislocated shoulder? You were pulled over with five million dollars worth of drugs. You're looking at 10 years easy. 20 if the prosecutor decides to run for office. Hey, so you know, I'm the nice guy. Wait till the DEA gets here. I know you didn't do this alone, Matthews. In fact, you don't exactly fit the profile of a, of a truck driver, let alone a drug smuggler. It's Vincent Colville we want, but we got nothing on him. You can change that by cooperating. Tell me you're not stupid enough to throw away your life for his. Did I get a phone call? Chris, what happened to you? I had a little run on with a guest. How was Frankie's thing? Um, it was fun. We're gonna meet for some drinks if you wanna join us. I'm sure you have a Good story to tell. Yeah. That's yeah, been an interesting day. But I think I'm gonna need to take a rain check. Okay. Can I come in? Sure. This morning got a little out of hand. Yeah. Huh. You were right. Oh, you were right. My menu's too ambitious for a resort hotel. Tommy. And since you don't want to sleep with anyone you work with, especially someone who just sees you as a uh, hit and run, it's time for me to go. I meant you were right that I've been thinking about you a lot. I do care that you've been with other women. I shouldn't care, but I do, okay? And that tells me that I care about you. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't care if you put flipper on the menu, all right? Just don't leave. No. No? I just played my entire hand, no? I mean, I'm gonna have to sleep on it. If you're suggesting you'll only stay here if I sleep with you. No, I'm saying that if I stay fired until tomorrow, then technically we wouldn't be working together tonight. Oh, um, and if we're not working together, then we can sleep together? Hey, it's your policy, not mine. I could go either way. When are you gonna get it through your head that I want this to last more than one night? Drink? I'm buying for the girl who had me. 
Sure. Then, can I have a beer, please? And I'll have a tall glass of whiskey. Hey. Hey. Thanks for showing up and helping the kids today. Oh, sorry, bro. I got delayed. Kids were bummed. Let them down. Oh, we'll get over. It's a bigger picture here. Is that right? Sunglasses inside. Yeah. What do you think? Not sure it's you. Hey, uh, bro, I was wondering if I could slide on my tab. I've been hitting it pretty hard tonight. I don't think so. You're G-Mac now. You can afford it. So during the distraction of Rin's film and Spins attack, Gary Lasser went overboard. He was in a scuba gear and he just stayed underwater when we took off ashore. Hmm. Have you seen the Lassers? No, they left without checking out. I thought about alerting the other hotels in the area, but the thought of the regal Hawaiian being hit with a lawsuit and bad publicity suddenly doesn't seem that appalling to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I talked to the cops. I don't want to put anybody through it. We just went through. Chris, you saved my ass. I mean, literally, you took a punch from me. Yeah, well, thanks for trusting my hunch. I want to make it up to you. you know, this is a good start. <laughs> yes, it is. Happy endings. Um, can I make a suggestion? Sure. That we move this to a place a bit more quiet. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Don't go there, MJ. Don't go to that place. The problem is just going for a walk. Hey, whatever. It's none of my business.